Hey everyone, Steph here. Um, I thought I'd break away from doing my pan challenges and actually record an empties video today. Um, I'm getting a bit giddy because I'm going to the Curve Fashion Festival tomorrow and um, we did vloggers chat last night and I'm just really sort of excited to do videos and stuff. Um, so let's try a different sort of video from me and let's do an empties video. Um, I've got quite a bit of stuff and I've had a massive clear out um, and I'm thinking about doing another video on everything that's in here which is kind of a makeup purge so keep your eyes out and I might do a video on that in the coming days. Um, right so let's get into empties. The first empty I've got is a Bioderma um, Sebum H2O so it's just basically a micellar water. Um, I bought this from Feel Unique um, last month um, and I went through this really quickly. Um, it was probably, it'd probably be alright if you've gone on a week's holiday somewhere to take away with you. Um, but for the price of it, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it. I did like it, but I just think there's other cheaper ones that you can get. Um, right, so the next one. I've actually used something up from a Christmas box set, uh, box set, um, gift set. This is the Sanctuary Spa Gentle Polish Body Scrub. Um, this smells really good. I didn't find it overly scrubby, oh, there's just like a random bit that's just fallen down. Um, I wouldn't go out and purchase one of these again, but I would be happy to have one in another Christmas gift set. Uh, what should we do next? This is an express press on nail, these are just like the ones that don't fit me. Um, this was in a goodie bag that I won, won from Bonprix at Style XL. Um, really quite impressed with these stick on nails, they stayed on for a couple of days. Um, they've got their own sticky glue on, on them so you don't have to write extra glue. Um, and I like the length of them so I will be buying more of them. What else have we got? Oh we've got two Maybelline brow dramas one's in dark brown and one's in medium brown I really like both of these um, the wand isn't great um, it's got that weird little bobbly bit um, oh come on focus oh well you, I'm sure you know what they look like it's like a little weird um, thing. Um, the medium brown worked a lot better for me even though my hair is really dark, my eyebrows are really dark, I just felt the dark brown was too dark. Um, I'm not going to rebuy these at the moment although don't count on it because um, I've got a couple of other products that I'm using for my eyebrows. Um, these, I find it hard with mascaras and things like that. I've had both of these for quite a while um, and they just don't seem to be working the same so I think it is time to wave goodbye to them. Um, the next few things are hand creams. Um, so I have three that I've worked through this month. I go through hand cream at such an alarming rate. Um, I've got a, I don't know how you say it, Lucky Tan um, Cherry Blossom one. Um, and I got this from the store they sent they would think it was on Facebook and you downloaded a promotion code and you got a little goodie bag from the store without having to buy anything. Uh, the next is a Crabtree and Evelyn Verbena and Lavender. This worked really well but it smells a bit like furniture polish and every time I used it at work someone's like can you smell polish? Um, and the last one is number seven Protect and Perfect Intense Hand Cream. Really not keen on this one. Now, um, a woman at work who, um, who who is older than me by at least 10, 15 years came over and said, oh, that's the best hand cream in the world. I personally don't like it. I don't like the smell of it. It smells a bit chemically plasticky. Um, but I do like that it has uh, SPF in it. But for me right now, it doesn't work brilliantly. Um, what else? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
about 12 more things to look at. Uh, the next is Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner. This is just a sample that I got free with a magazine. Uh, there is little bits of product, but I've had this for quite a long time, so this kind of came out in my makeup purge. Um, I have bought a full size one of these that I got juice free when I went on holiday, um, but I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to open that one. I've never used up an eyeliner, I think. Um, okay, we've got hand sanitising gel. This was from Audi and this was kind of a on the spot purchase while I was queuing up at the tills. Um, really like this one and loads of people have, at work have commented on the smell. We're all massive users of hand sanitizer at work. So much so work actually provided us with hand sanitizer but that one isn't good. It's really alcohol smelling um, and it's a bit too strong. So I picked myself up one of these. I want to say this was about 80p and um, really liked it. It seemed to take ages to go through. I've had a couple of others which are not here. Um, I think they're Carmex ones and I go through them super quick. Um, <clears throat> the next is a bit boring. It was lots of cotton wool um, pads and I think this was from Savers. These were really good. They had uh, like little textures on them. I've not got any randomly left. Um, <clears throat> They seem to like grip the makeup remover and like take as you were taking it off. Um, so I would buy one of those again, but I don't have a savers nearby. Um, okay, these two I'll do together because they are kind of part and parcel. Um, so this was the Nivea Soft Rose Lip Balm. This was in my Use 8 by Bonfire Challenge. Um, completely gone and I've kind of scraped it out as well. Um, now this is an eyebrow pencil from Essence, um, I think the colour is just brown. Um, I had one of these as my sort of bonus item in my use 8 by Bonfire and that I got as tiny as a lid. Um, this one has just stopped sharpening now, it, the lead's breaking, I've probably dropped it. Um, so saying goodbye to that, I'm going to buy another one of those because that is the best eyebrow pencil I've ever used. Um, oh, another one for the Use 8 by Bonfire is a Avon 24 karat gold strength and there is just the tiniest little bit left and I can't get that onto the brush so that's going. Um, another boring one. Short deodorant. Um, didn't love this. Um, I picked this up to, to have a change from the Mitchum that I've been buying recently. Um, I've gone back to Mitchum this was a waste of 90p. Um, so much choice. P.S. I love you nail polish twist pot. This is from Primark. Um, this is a bit of a mixed bag really. It works really quickly. It does take nail polish off quickly. What is that? Nail polish off quickly. Um, but the actual foam pad breaks up every time you sort of put your finger in, it won't do it now that I'm on camera, um, every time you put your finger in, bits of the black foam fall out and you end up with a little pile of sat around you. Um, I've, I've had this for quite a while and it's getting to the point where I feel really frustrated every time I use it so I'm getting rid of it. Um, I want to save my two favourites for last. So another boring one is Johnson's Cotton Buds. Um, these are my favourite cotton buds. Um, I tend to buy these from the pound shop because they can get stupid prices Oops. Um, <laughs> in boots and places. But I tend to just pick them up from the pound shop. Um, and yeah, I'm sure you're you all aware of what you do with cotton buds. Um, another one I didn't like is Rituals Miracle Scrub Ginseng and Ginkgo Bulba what? Bulba oh, you know what it is and this is a hand scrub now this I love the concept of this I had a black one from Boots in a Christmas set it smells amazing I wanted to love it um, but I found I'd have it on my bathroom shelf that way up and I was just kind of getting oil out of it and the scrub wasn't cohesive and I decided I was throwing it away when it was up to there full um, but then 
I moved it and I ended up putting it in a tub in the bathroom that way up. Decided to give it one last chance before I threw it away. And storing it this way up was a lot better. The oil seemed to mix with the scrub. It was more key cohesively together. Um, so really like this now. Don't think I'd rebuy it. I think it's expensive for what it is. I don't think it made a major difference to around my nails. Um, but I'm just glad that just turning it the other way up made me enjoy using it a bit more. Um, I don't know if anyone will have noticed but I actually changed my hair colour this month and I am now 5.4 chestnut brown. This, if I remember rightly, is just a super drug zone one. Um, same shade, great new look. This shade was previously known as rich chestnut. Oh, rich to natural. Well, um, I quite like it. I'm going to have my hair cut in about an hour's time. Um, maybe I should brush my hair before I go as well. Um, I've really enjoyed growing it and I do like the length. But Miss Beth Tinkerbell um, has had a fringe cut in. And I've been thinking about a fringe for a while and I really like it. So I'm going to get in a fringe. Ignore that bit. You didn't see it. Um, another product I have, we've only got four left, don't panic, is from Primark again, PSL of your skin, face wipes. Um, these are generally two packs for a pound and they, I'm, I'm using them more for like just a quick wipe over before I wash my face or before I use any other cleanser um, and if I swatch, just taking things off. They're alright, they're not bad for the price. Um, Another one. I feel like there's product left in this now. Oh, it's just there. It's just there. And um, this is a Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Geranium and Neroli. This was in. Not that. This was in the Glamour Beauty box this time, and it's a pre-shampoo treatment. Um, and it basically says you. For best results, use regularly before shampooing, wet hair, and leave and apply in sections. I don't know how to section my hair when it's wet. Um, working with the fingertips, cover with a plastic cap and leave for 10 to 20 minutes before washing. Blah, 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 blah. I like this. Um, I got two and a half uses out, out of this. Um, the first time I just kind of put it in and left it for five minutes. The next time I put it in before I had a bath, sat in the bath with a shower cap on. Don't all picture that, please. Um, I don't really feel like it's made any difference. Maybe if I had a big sample and I could try it, but it's not inspired me to go out and buy a full size. Um, right, my last two. Right, we'll save my favourite for last. This was the Zoella Scrubbing Me Softly. Um, come on, focus. Now, I bought this. I know people have mixed feelings about Zoella, but I quite enjoy watching her videos. There is nothing. There is a tiny little bit at the bottom. Really, really love this. Um, it's actually on offer for six pounds instead of seven in super drug at the moment, so I think I might go and buy another one. Um, it was the right amount of scrub for me. I used it pretty much every day, and I felt like it did make a difference to my skin. Um, so yes, this is definitely high up on the favourites list. Um, did I say this was a favourites video or an empties video? Does anybody know? Does anybody watch um, and my absolute favourite product which is only ever available in pound shops or cheap saver shops is Herbal Essence Breakage Defender. It's an intensive mask damage and protect for damaged brittle hair with pearl, coconut and mango ex ex expert extracts. Um, again there is nothing left, there's a little bit on the lid. Um, smells it smells like holidays without smelling like suntan lotion um i this is about at least the tenth one i think i've probably gone through um i've looked online and they're not available in the uk um they might have been at one point and they're probably really old now um but every time i see these in a pound shop i stock up and i haven't got any in back up at the moment um it makes me laugh when i watch some youtube videos and people have got Oh, I've got this in backup and I've got four backups and I'm, I now kind of understand it. 
Um, so yes, I will be buying this again if I see them. If you see them anywhere, please let me know where they are. Um, right, okay, I am going to go and get ready and go to the hairdressers. Um, thank you very much for watching and if you're going to the Curve Fashion Festival on Saturday, um, I'm hoping to get this video up before then. Please come and say hello. I do get a bit socially awkward and anxious, so please tell me, one, tell me who you are. Tell me how I know you. Um, you use a name because I can never connect names, faces, usernames, unless I've met you quite a few times. So please don't think I'm rude. I'm not being rude. I'm just socially awkward. Um, right, I will see you on Saturday if you're going. Otherwise, I will see you next time I do a video. Thank you very much.